Beer and football is a classic American combination that many people enjoy. But a recent decision by the Idaho Board of Education might throw a wrench in the equation. This summer, the University of Idaho came to the IBE with a proposal to change the current policy to allow alcohol in controlled areas on campus. But because of the split decision that came up, the board decided to keep the ban right where it is. I, well, I, I think the overall argument, and it really wasn't an argument, it's more of a discussion point, was around student safety and patron safety at, at football games, overall campus safety. You know, because you're not just talking about people uh, confined to an immediate area around a football stadium. They're, you know, they, they have to go to their parked cars or they're walking across your campuses. So th that was really what the, I think the entire discussion really was around was, was how, do we, how do we create that safe, inviting environment. Last year, a trial was run to allow the sale of alcohol in certain areas at Boise State for football season. The huddle, a pregame tailgate, was the only option for of-age fans to buy alcohol on campus. But this year, Boise State announced that they would not bring it back for the 2016 football season. The question many people were asking, why? The board did on a one-year trial basis for those two universities. They actually were not, revenue-wise, the universities will verify it for you what the numbers were, but they actually were not terribly profitable, if at all. For underage students, the ban doesn't affect them personally since they can't indulge in alcoholic consumption just yet. Even so, many have strong opinions both for and against the ban. Nicholas McNew, a 20-year-old computer science major, is confused by the decision. In a phone interview with The Arbiter, he said, quote, I believe Boise State as a school is trying to follow the law in terms of possession of alcohol, even though consumption is not denied in those tailgating areas. This seems completely hypocritical as they, the IBE, were allowed to sell alcohol for those who had a special invitation, as in tickets to the Stuckel Sky Center, unquote. There is a catch to this policy. The sale of alcohol is allowed on campus if it's given a permit by the university president. The policy states, quote, generally alcohol is prohibited from the Boise State University campus. The policy continued, explaining that there are exceptions to the rule, such as the huddle or the Stuckel Sky Center, which is why it was allowed last year, despite an already in place ban. So the next time you want to try tailgating with alcohol here, you're going to have to go somewhere else, like all the way up there. With all the arguments, the IBE doesn't expect turnout at games to change anytime soon. In the end, for all the fanfare, what the decision did was maintain the policy we've had in place for, for a number of years. Um, and with that, I think, uh, in, in regards specifically to Boise State, I think the football team and the football program has shown that um, they've created a, a, a large enough and great enough fan base that they'll continue to support the, you know, Boise State. Some of the student body seems to agree. Austin Henderson, a 20-year-old communications major, doesn't believe the ban will affect the spirit of the games at all. Quote, for the most part, football games are high energy, large crowds, and a lot of fun, with or without alcohol, he said in a phone interview with the Arbiter. To see how the alcohol ban will affect campus and Boise State football games, we'll have to wait and see as the season and the semester rolls along. Reporting at Albertson Stadium, I'm Natasha Williams, Boise State Student Media.